Okay. This is probably... <clears throat> well, we can assume Arcanists. Ooh, hello. Uh, I think this is the replace. Like, we do need some stuff to play this off, but Darkfire Sack into Blue Conjurer is one of our best openings. And then we have Kaleno to heal. Keep ourselves alive. Ooh, this is good. Celebrant this is pretty solid. Um, then there's a chance we draw... So we can play the sphere on this, with the celebrant in the middle. Um, put the monotile there. Or we can play the celebrant and then move on to the monotile. Like we can put the celebrant here, monotile there, move on to it. Uh, in the hope that we draw... No, that doesn't matter either, does it? I'm trying to think if there's a way we can draw a two drop off this and still play it. I don't want to replace any of these cards. Um, like the main goal would be to get a blue conjurer. I guess we could replace the Sphere of Darkness itself. In the hope of conjuring. It's probably better just to play the Sphere, to be honest. We can put it on this Mana Spring, even. Just to deny, deny my opponent there. Four Mana. If we draw another one, that's pretty good still. That's not bad either, but I think, I think I'll replace it. Sweet. Also sweet. The engine is, in theory, online. <laughs> Do like to see my opponent not killing this. That's nice for me. Oh, no, scratch that. She's got a chromatic cold or something. Or double mana death grip. Well. <laughs> Think we're dead. Uh, what can we do? So, crypto. So the awkward thing about this play is it uses up all our spells, but I think it's the best we get. So I can take this monotile, possibly just with the cryptographer so I can run away. Um, use the Bloodborne spell, Darkfire sack one of them, and lure this, and kill it. Um... Might still be a little early. Those stacked. I think so. Yeah, my opponent has five mana and it was her second turn. Um, so she'll go to six mana this turn. I assume. Uh, yeah, let's go for this. I'm tempted to be greedy and actually keep one of these alive on the off chance we don't have to Darkfire We don't have to, um... Sorry, on the off chance we can play Conjurer and then Darkfire Sacrifice next turn. It's maybe a bit greedy, but... Um... I think we're going to need to catch up on cards. And she can only reach two of my minions. It's probably not worth her while spending a card on this, so... Like, I assume this guy's going to die, but... Hmm. Okay. It's weird that she doesn't just, like, attack it. Maybe she wants to stay on this side of me. Lock me in. That would be a sensible thing to do. So what I can do now is I can play Blue Conjurer and then Darkfire Sack this Wraithling. Um, I can run over here and do it as well, so I can put the Conjurer there behind me in a relatively safe spot. And then next turn we can play a Cheap Conjurer and... Well, not even... Yeah, Cheap Conjurer and Shadow Spawn. Um... Rewarded. There is nothing like Darkfire Sacrifice that doesn't cost you a card. That sucks. That's better. That's very good, actually. Oh, that's a turn. Kaleno 
Bloodborne spell, Ritual Banishing, that could be good. So this guy's very likely to just die. Probably going to get turned into a fox. Or I suppose return to my hand. Um, but that's not so bad because of the Dark Fire. People aren't playing Aspect of the Fox as much right now. Although, the way my opponent's been playing, they might just be playing Pure Control. Um, I don't know. Seems like an odd play to use up a Hearth Sister just to kill a Cryptographer when she could have hit it and attacked with this guy. I realize you get like a small amount of board presence advantage, but it's not even that big a deal. Like, surrounding me is probably better. So she must have had nothing to do. That's fine. That's really fine. It leaves me with a 4-4. I'll take a 4-4. That is also an Arcanist. Ow. <clears throat> Gravity well? Sure. So given my life total, I'm very tempted to play Kaleno instead of this other Conjurer. Uh, although then I don't get to draw any cards off of these. How greedy am I? I don't think I'm too likely to die off of... from 14. Especially with, like, Wraithlings on the board so I don't lose the Meltdown. I might get hit by Enfeeble, that would be sad. <clears throat> Let's play this maybe more aggressively. I'm trying to think if there's a spot where I can put it that it doesn't get hit by Enfeebled these things. But I don't think there is. I guess if I, like, kill these two and then... Shadow spawn and hope one, no, neither of them spawn there. That might get there. Although actually I probably want to avoid killing these ones. Because then my dudes don't die to war mode. So we can do this. And this. And this. And this. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. <clears throat> oh, hello. This is all good. This is all good. Oh, these two are such a good combo. <laughs> you heal for two off the four wins, Mega Prox. That's amazing. Sadly, we don't quite have the mana to play them both and then Darkfire Sack, but we can go four wins, Mega Darkfire Sack, Kaleno, Shadow Spawn, which is not terrible. Assuming the Wraithlings don't die. Aspect of the mountains? Ah, crap. I totally forgot about that card. That's really bad for me. <laughs> In response, I am sad. Okay, so I guess we have to do things a bit differently. Um... Ooh. That'll help. So we can do four wins. I guess we can lure this away and hope it doesn't get killed by I uh, hope we don't get killed by the third hearth sister. Which is entirely possible at this point. Warbird and then Darkfire Sack. Sorry, Warbird. Bloodborne spell and then Darkfire Sack, one of these guys. Uh, let's see. I don't think it matters that much. Say this one. Feels <laughs> Batman Van and playing Mountains, yeah. Yeah, the, the aspect of the mountains is actually quite popular right now. I just totally forgot about the card. Like, I misplayed by not remembering that it existed. But we have a nice next turn. Okay, no Hearth Sister is good. We have a nice next turn with Kaleno and Night Shroud. Even just those two together is like, I gain two health and then I can get some attacks in. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Unless she has another mana death grip. Smoke. Ugh! That's unfair. 
<laughs> that really sucks. Because we don't get any Nitro value off either. Um, we do have some good body blocks. We can do Spellbinder Nitrode. That's not dreadful. Um, gains our life. Ritual Banishing might be useful next turn. Um, I think we're going to end up taking four. I'm pretty sure we're just dead, but this is the best I get. So we put the Archon down, put the Nitro down. She can attack this and then hit me, and then she only needs like a Chromatic Cold. Um, but if she doesn't have it, we're in good shape. Has she used any Chromatic Colds? I don't think so. So we're probably dead. Or like Double Scorn would do it, if that's her hand. Actually, the Scorn is really good here because it just kills that. Oh yeah, I guess. That works. Hit this, please. Hey, <laughs> That's my out. I'm quite surprised that I'm not dead right now. How do we get out of this? So we can Ritual Banishing this. Punch this. With Kalena in play. That's not doing me any favours here. Oh! What died? Night Shroud died. Night Shroud will heal me. So I can play the Ritual Banishing, play Nether Summoning, get Meltdown, activate this, punch this, or maybe the other way around. Yeah, punch this and then activate so I'm more likely to kill one of these, because I know I can kill this. Okay, so, oh no wait, we need to do this first in order to get the, get this to die. Unless we like, banishing the Kaleno, no, I don't have a mana for that. Oh wait, we don't even have the monitor Kaleno if we do that, so we we can't we can't actually nether summoning. That sucks. Um, no, because the summoning heals me, right? Um, so we go because I get a a night shroud which heals me for one point of damage. Please tell me I've done this right. Awesome. <laughs> right. She's got one more turn to draw the chromatic cold and then hopefully she dies. <laughs> wow, that was a that was a lot of that was a complicated turn. Like it sounds simple in retrospect, but there were like too many distracting elements to get everything in the right order. This card can be good, sometimes. <laughs> yep. My opponent did that very confidently. I think Chromatic Cold's like the only thing they could have. Or like, no, Trinity Wing doesn't do it. They could be randomly playing Saber Spine Tiger, I guess. Um, could they have done it with Hearth Sister? I don't think so. Yeah, they could have like moved Hearth Sister there, swapped the aspect up and punched me to death. We are alive. <laughs> and we've got Breath of the Unborn. Which kills all about this. And heals us a bunch. We might actually win this game. Okay. <laughs> this is genuinely amazing. Um, I'm not sure whether I should punch this with Archon or Meltdown or just not at all. Like maybe I should see if the Meltdown kills it. I could punch this actually with Archon. Oh yeah, I can guarantee deal my opponent too. I can kill this. Come down here, punch this with Meltdown and then activate Bloodborne Spell. And hit my opponent.
<laughs> Never summoning is the best. One of uh, someone from the community, my friend Zabiel, told me an anecdote where um, he was playing Cassava versus, I think, Vanor. He played a meltdown. His opponent dispelled it and played their own meltdown um, and activated, and the meltdown failed to kill his. So he demonic lured his opponent's meltdown next to his meltdown, traded, cast nether summoning, and then hit his opponent for 14. It's a thing of beauty. Double meltdown next turn. Possibly. Oh. <laughs> that still doesn't kill me even if it hits my face. Damn. That's still very bad. Okay, you don't do enough. Give me death now. You do even less. Damn it. <laughs> I thought we were going to win this game. Now I'm sad. Um, where do I put this? I guess my opponent can't really attack it. So now we're at the point where if the meltdown hits my face, I die. Um, let's play out loads of crap. No! <laughs> no cryptographer. <laughs> Bad cryptographer. We just need, if we draw Death Knell, we win. Because the Night Shroud kills my opponent. Um, if we draw... Blue Conjurer, we can set up lethal. By rolling... By activating Shadow Spawn and rolling Death Knell. Um, or Night Shroud. If we draw Night Shroud, it's only one damage. Still better than nothing, because the Kaleno heals me, but... Still only one damage. We just need this to shoot Wraithlings for a while. Uh-oh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. RNG, <laughs> yep. All about it. Yeah, I think the Meltdown hitting my Meltdown was like basically the only good outcome for my opponent. Um, is that a gravity well? <laughs> That's actually a bit counterproductive, because I can farm health off them. I mean, I can only reach a couple of them, but still, I can farm health off them. Or if we draw another Breath of the Unborn, which I do have another copy of. Actually, that would be amazing. Death now. Ooh, that's not bad. That keeps this alive. I'll take it. Uh, that can get attacked by Meltdown up there. Let's go here. Let's kill... This one, I guess? Freeze up the Sage most. Maybe this one? Yeah, that one seems fine. Make this trade. Should be these dudes closer. <laughs> yes, okay. We just need to not die now or we win next turn. Come on, Meltdown. Be nice. Be nice. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a one in eight chance of killing me. Oh, whoops. I'm standing above Kalina. That was dumb. Please. Come on. One time. Okay, thank God. Man, I, the sprite crossed over my my general for a moment there. I just like. <gasps> so pleasingly, my opponent can't really attack my stuff without gaining me more health, which is kind of cool. And more gravity. Oh boy. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Brave little wraithlings. All about it. These guys are great. Okay, where can I put death now so it resurrects the maximum amount of stuff? Here is not too bad. Um, maybe I can clear some space up here. Punch this and then move down. Yeah. I can like, no. I'm trying to think of a 
I, th I think I think fewer than seven Arcanists have died, but just to be sure, I want to make sure that I'm playing it in a place where there's plenty of space for it to reanimate as much as it needs. Oh, this'll do. Oh, no. Stop. Right. Let's put it here. Just want to make sure I get maximum chance of uh, Night Shroud, just in case I've played too many of them. There we go. Got there. <laughs> Pray for little Wraithling dying from Meltdown Sins. Definitely. 